Hey guys, this is our first video. Um, so we want to do a little intro. I'm Ebony. And I'm Nate. And we are Mountain Movers Transportation. Um, we've been in the business for a little over, what, three years? Three years. And, running. Yep. So first we started off with um, a moving company. And it's a, basically a furniture company down here. So we furnish homes. But then we branched off and doing our own thing and just getting loads off the load board and, you know, just trying to um, basically be our own boss and work when we want to um, and, you know, be done when we want to. So we're going to show you step by step on how we book the routes and also um just how when we get to our routes, what we do step by step and just show you how to make money why are we using a box truck all right y'all so first thing first is booking the route so um, we basically go off the that low board um as you can see right here just use my phone i do mostly all the booking my husband do uh the drive all right so i'm gonna learn how to drive too it's not that difficult i don't believe so i'll be dry i'll be seeing me driving on camera here soon um but I use that board the most for box trucks. Uh, truck stop is pretty good. This is the truck stop app. This is the truck stop app. But um, I have seen truck stop mostly used for flatbeds, but they do have box trucks on there um, as well. And they're listed as straight van. Um, that's going to be SV. Um, also, we use the 123 load board. 123 load board. But majority of our routes Turn right on, on South Stemmons Freeway that load board all right so right now we're running a route we're going to um, actually we're gonna head to dallas three stop route three stop route paying really good it's paying uh 580 so we should be done with this route and probably we supposed to pick up at 11 we're gonna pick up a little early but it shouldn't take us more than what you think to run this in three wow. quarters of a mile. About two hours. Keep probably an hour. 35 minutes out. They're super close to each other. So we're going to knock this out. We might get another route today. We might not. Um, just depends yeah, on. Because we're actually going to get our CDL. Trying to get our CDL. So we're going to go take the test today. So this might be the only route we get. But oh, y'all, y'all have, have to get y'all CDL done before the 7th. February the 7th. February the 7th will be the last day you can take your CDL test without taking the course. They're implementing the course that you have to take before um, you can take the written portion of the CDL. So we're trying to do that to avoid the, the fees of the course. So we're gonna take our test today and pray for us. Hopefully we pray, I hope we pass. Um, so Keep yeah, left so I when, we get, when we get to our destination, we'll jump back on. All right guys, we are in the back of the truck. About to get it loaded up. We have five pallets total. We're about to load. See, we got our straps in the pallet jack. I always gotta have your pallet jack if you got you a 26 foot box truck. Sometimes it's no touch freight. Sometimes you gotta get out there, pull them pallets out with a pallet jack, put some work in. It. Husband over there getting the, the truck ready so he can bring the pallets home. Put the ramp on if they don't they'll just lay it on the truck and all you have to do is just pull it in and set it up and tie it down yeah you don't really want you really don't want forklifts on your truck just because they're a little heavy so they bring it up here to the end of the truck and we pull it in with the pallet jack take it to the back and tie it up
Got a little weight to it. This towel, so it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Ceramic towel. It's heavy. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. some of the best routes right here if you can find something this is 21 miles for three stops as a box truck drive that's one of your favorite routes if you're not driving too much you're not wasting no gas and you're making money can't beat it so we headed to our first stop our first drop off um, 11 minutes away 11 minutes and it says 7.6 miles away that was kind of heavy which is really good because like like you said shorter distance especially when you got something heavy on the truck one thing about when you have something that's heavy just take your time driving you don't have to be in a rush especially if there's no time frames or anything like that you just take your time driving turn and right on emerald you street you ever drove in dallas traffic you know how it can get Oh, 
car when you're driving big trucks. In a quarter you of a drive. mile, so everybody turn is. left on Brown Road. So we will tune back in once we get to uh, once we get to the drop off location. Show you how we're unloading it. I believe this might be residential. So hopefully we don't run into any issues, no inclines or slopes because turn left on Brown Road. Road. You can't be. Pretty easy delivery. We're just gonna place the pellets right here. Go get the next one. She has two pellets. Lift gate is um, making a lot of noise, so we're gonna, and we need some more hydraulic uh, fluid in it, so we're gonna put some fluid in it today after we get done with these stops. So he's gonna get the glass pallet to be a breeze. And just place that one over there. This is our first video, so y'all let us know what we need to work on. What y'all something's going on with that pallet. Sometimes those pallets is broke underneath and they just they just give you bad pallets sometimes and you gotta work through it. So like so y'all let us know what we need to work on. All right, let us know what y'all want to hear. If y'all got any questions, we will answer. We've been having our own authority for about eight months now. We haven't had any issues. I know a lot of people say that with the new authority, it's hard to get routes, but we haven't had any issues. We are done guys. We're gonna get back with you when we get back in the truck. Alright y'all. Turn left we on are Preston back Road. In. The route is complete. The route is complete. I will say it again. And it is. Y'all look at what time it is. 1229. 1229. Not even two hours. Literally. We picked up at 11. 600 hours. It's 1229. Hour and 30 minutes. All right, guys, we are done and completed that route. We are at Bucky's now, the famous Bucky's. I'm about to get us something to eat before we go take our CDL test. We're done for today. We're not gonna do any more routes, but we still had a pretty good day. 
um, for the little time we did run. Um, you got anything you want to say, Nate? I guess questions. If they have questions, let us know. Yeah. This is our first video, so if y'all have any input, you know, we we love input. You know, you never can stop learning. So, so yeah, just uh, let us know what y'all want to see. Yeah, um, leave it in the comments. Yeah, so we are out. Peace and love. And keep on trucking. <laughs>